Hello everybody, it's Slushy, and welcome back to Home Safety Hotline. So, I'm pretty excited to get back into this game. I really do love this game. It's a really well-made game. And it's a perfect analog horror game. Like, every, every sense of the way, it's perfect. So, I really do enjoy it. Let's check the mailbox, see what new we got. What in the ever-loving hell? Do not come to the, uh, full hole. The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is bratched. It's this not sad of the hearer must finade a new aid spot. It knows I'm here. Okay, God, uh, that just seems so forced the way that you're talking, man. It, it really does. Is that a eyeball I'm looking at? It looks like like a human head without the skin, like just the flesh and stuff, which is really creepy. Home Safety Hotline Corporate. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this sa oh, son of a bitch. Overtime. God damn it. Ah, <sighs> thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Oh yeah, I'm sure. So. We don't just have one day. I said in my last video we have one more day left. No, we have two more days. We got overtime to do, son of a bitch. Friday. It's funny because I'm playing this on a Friday. I don't know when I'm uploading it, but I'm playing it. I forgot how loud that was. Good lord. Okay, we're back. Hello, boss. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Okay, why are you talking like somebody from the biblical era? What are you, what are you doing, man? Uh, what new stuff do we have? I'm trying to find all the new stuff. Soap Sprite. That's... God damn it, it's loud in my ears, man. The phone call. Patrice! There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager having joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults they say these. And the next thing you know, I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic satanistic ritual crap, I assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Please hold. Yeah, hold on, ma'am. What is the sprig tree? It takes skew and uh, magic. Knife. He's been gone for days. This tree supposedly turns into humans or something, or like it takes a human form or something like that. I'll read it more properly after I report it. Apparently my accuracy, apparently my accuracy has been quite good though, so that's pretty good. Okay, so they are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Structural damage continue to grow. Takes root in the human body. I guess it works. I don't know. Hey, Hello, I Robert. called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Please hold. Do you have a kitchen hob? Is that a thing? Is the kitchen hob a thing? It's gotta be a hob though. Okay, I'm gonna say it's a common hob. It's really the only thing that makes sense. There you go, bud. I hope I'm right. That's all I can really tell you. A 
strong words from a little guy. I mean, I guess he is half the, almost the size of the little couch there, so maybe he's not so little, but definitely little comparison. So, Pamela. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. And not okay. only I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. Please hold Shut up, ma'am. I think I have your problem. Is it the false flower? There was something like that that apparently sings. It's got to be this. Oh, Jesus Christ. It sounds like you got a false flower, ma'am. I know it doesn't sound like a real thing, but apparently in this universe, it's very real. So, watch your back. Apparently they shoot out some kind of mist or something like that. Poisonous, poison, toxic mist, toxic chemical. It's a weird looking flower too, I have to say. What does it sound like? So an 8-bit video game. Nice. Hello? There we go. Jesus. Hey, Flipper here. I've got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine. You know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't even see my face in them when I'm deadlifting. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now. Why here. are you deadlifting? Uh, spit, crud, and juice, and uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now, easy there. Get away. Get away. Did you just get killed by a penguin? I'm pretty sure Flipper just got killed by a penguin, which is ironic because he's called Flipper and penguins have flippers. Well, so what happened to you, man? Did, I mean, were you dropped as a baby? Is that the problem here that I'm seeing? I don't know, but it's a little strange. He got killed by a penguin. That's pretty damn tragic, I gotta say. Why do I get those weird calls? I mean, I guess it is like any job. You get a lot of weirdos. Hello. Okay. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false yeah. caller with ulterior motives. Flipper. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Why are you still talking like we're in the biblical era, man? We're not in the biblical era anymore, okay? That's like long ago. We don't need to say thee and thou anymore okay we just don't talk like that talk like a human i don't trust you i don't trust carol i don't trust supervisor carol something's off about her maybe she's one of these uh entities maybe she's wearing false skin interesting theory i don't like the way this call sounds already hello there's, andy there's some kind of insect in my house and i, I think it may have died uh, i saw this big nasty Thing fly in through the window and I haven't been able to find it anywhere but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself burning, somewhere because I can smell flying. this awful burn. Please hold. Okay, so it, it flies and it smells like burning. Oh, you bastard. Oh, this isn't fair, man. This isn't fair at all. I don't like this. I don't know what some of this shit is, man. Okay, what I remember the what I remember the attic gnome doing was he cleaned up the attic but expelled the dust and stuff back into the air. So what I assume the trash gnome is doing 
He's burning the trash, which is leading to this terrible smell that the guy's smelling. Frankly, I don't know. I, I don't know what any of these things are, so I really have no choice but to guess. I'm gonna go trash gnome. It's really the only thing that makes sense to me right now, on account of the fact that I have no idea what any of these other things are. No! No! I did the wrong thing! Ah! I meant to do trash. Oh god, I failed. It, it took my daughter! It took my daughter! She, she's gone! It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it! I saw it with my own eyes! Please, send help! The police won't do anything! Send- Please hold. Tendrils. Which one of these things had tendrils? It's definitely four roots. Not a question in my mind. Hopefully you get your daughter back there. <sighs> What's it sound like? I don't know what the hell I just heard. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Amy! Fate bit my hand! I was just turning off one of our lamps and it, it latched on and bit me! What was that thing? Oh, why do I feel sick? Am I gonna die? It's back! Get away, you nasty thing! What the hell is happening in this city, man? Okay, now I know what it is. It was a, it was a lamp, uh, a lamp sprite. God damn it. What happened to your face? It, 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 it stole me! It stole me! I'm... I'm not me! Please hold. I know what you are. I know what you are. You're remembering them. Mirror them. I combine memory with... With memory, with mirror nymph, so that turned out really weird. Okay. Stealing the likeness. Yeah, I didn't even have to look. Not being able to recognize their own face, yeah. Okay. Hello, who is it? Ramona. I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Why does it sound like you're smiling? Please hold it. Okay, so they're finding needles, cans, and metal scrap. What could that be? What could that be? Uh-huh. That's what I thought. It's the horde. I mean, some of these things aren't 100% one specific one, but for the most part, if a lot of the details line up, I just kind of pick it. That's how I, that's how I do this. Yep, it's got to be the horde. I feel like some of these days are longer than the others. Maple. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Please okay, hold. Okay, shut up. So the last few nights, you haven't gotten sleep thanks to punks with flashlights or something. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights out through our windows. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't know what that could be. <laughs> oh my god. I keep on running into the things I'm supposed to pick.
some of these things I'm not so sure about. Some of these things I'm 100% sure of. Who is it? Patty. Hey, uh, so... I think I found some kind of door. No! Please hold. No! Do not go through the portal. Do not! Bad idea. Just to make sure, let me check it out. It's gotta be. What do you want? I mean, how can I help you? This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel like- Please hold. Okay, so is it Pie Pop? What's a Pie Pop do? I gotta be honest, nothing else really makes sense, but I'm gonna keep looking for sure. Okay. We're gonna go with Soap Sprite. I don't know about tendrils and tentacles, but I know that it, it seems like, it seems like that's the most likely thing. I don't know. Your shift, oh my God, 90% accuracy. We finally got the accuracy back, thank God. So now I know how good I've been doing. That's the progress I was wanting in the first episode. Holy mother. 90%. That's pretty damn good. I didn't expect that. Complete your fifth day on the job. Okay, so like I'll watch the video and read the mail, but then I'm going to end the episode. Because it's already almost 30 minutes long. This address is no longer active. Hello, if you are receiving this email, it is because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at home. Safety hotline as of 4 30 96 This address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive messages. If you still need support from HSH, please email us at support at hsh.mail. Thank you. Home safety hotline support. Okay, I thought I'd read it kind of like robotic. Whatever. Earn an exclusive employee discount. Oh, sweet. What? Can I click it? I can't. Today's daily coupon is for Haghot. Source cruelty free from the perished and treated with our flower scent and formula. Now, these are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall amount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. To receive your discount, simply type the following code on uh, uh, hag and Haglin for deals. Keep up the good work, employee. Yeah, I'll pass on this. Thank you. Can you just buy me like a Coke or something? Pepsi, something like that. You know, something practical. Not the skin of a dead person. Thank you. What is this? I like the music. Let me guess. Somebody died here.
made these videos? Like, seriously? Who at the company? I know it wasn't Carol. She's a lazy bitch. Who took all this time to make these little informative videos and not to mention put the super dope music in? Like, I'm a big rock and roll fan. This music seriously reminds me of, like, old days of Leonard Skinner. This is, this is like, super cool for me. At the same time, I know it's going to take a dark twist. Because we're nearing the end of the game, I believe. I think there's only two days left. So... There's got to be something creepy about to happen. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. It's not easy to be totally silent. Holy shit, this is like real life footage. These developers are committed. They're really committed to actually like, they, they clearly went and found some kind of cave. Or something. Maybe this is made in Blender. I don't know. But they clearly are very dedicated to making this look as real as possible. I'm pretty sure this is real footage, though, which is very impressive. Follow the lights. Do not stray. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath their sword. What happened with your sword? What the heck? You better not have died. We needed to put an end to this video. Quite the informative video. Why did we have to go in the cave? To fight some kind of cave beast with our iron sword? Is that it? Is that really the reason why we had to go in there? Doesn't seem like we had any purpose to go in there except bring your sword, kill the beast, then go to the top. It's like, why am I on a side quest? Why can't I just say, you know, fuck the beast in the cave? I'm going straight to the top. Why do I have to go kill the monster in the cave? Why is that my job? It looks like the cave's pretty protected. They got a wooden door and stuff on it with a lock. Not sure there's many caves like that, but hey, whatever. Anyways, guys, this has been Home Safety Hotline. I really do enjoy this game. Like, I'm a little bit surprised there hasn't been more exposure for this game. Like, I, I thought for sure by now a lot of the biggest YouTubers would have already made, like, a couple episodes on it. Uh, but, I, I mean, I guess Markiplier is still pretty busy with Lethal Company and Help Wanted too so i mean it's maybe he'll get to it eventually uh but i really hope that the bigger youtubers do play this game because it definitely seems like something especially markiplier something that he would really love uh because he likes all this he likes a lot of so as far as i've seen he likes a lot of analog horror based stuff and this is a very creative way without giving you cheesy jump scares of involving you in the analog horror scene essentially so yeah i really do enjoy it uh great job to the developers and i can't wait to finish it off with the last two days unless there's more you know five nights of freddy's 
is called Five Nights at Freddy's, but there's like eight nights or something like that. So either way, let's get into that in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.